And good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie. It's 7 a.m. And it's Monday. Woo-hoo. Start of a new week. We're getting closer to Christmas, y'all. It is coming. That gives us mm. roughly 21 days. <laughs> Ooh. Have you honestly you bought anything? No. No, me either. I usually don't till the week before, if not the day before. Yeah, that's that's your average man. If you want to know what goes to it. <laughs> seriously, we just took a poll. Yeah, two right. out of two. <laughs> and I bet there's more. And it- and you probably even. <laughs> you know, you mean to, but there's so many things going on. You just can't hardly do it. You just don't have time. Yeah, it, it's hard to squeeze in. If it weren't for moms, we'd be in trouble is what we're trying to say. Moms Confusion. Are, <laughs> mamas are really good at that. Confusion at its finest. Christmas Eve at Walmart. Because every man in there is scrambling and we're all confused. And how many times have you been told, well, I gave you a hint. Well, no, you didn't. You didn't say you wanted it. That's right. Just point blank say, I'd like this. <laughs> Let me know. But it, it's boiled down to this, and after 33 years of marriage, she's got most everything that she could possibly want, and she never lets me get it. She's going to go get it if she wants it. So what do you do in a well, case like that? I've already given Amy me. What else could she she's want? She's got the best thing she can get. There you go. Last present I got for for what was it? Was it anniversary? Oh, she had three just like what I give her. Yes. Well, that come from the heart. <laughs> just put it up there beside the other two. That's right. Rump, rump. Hey, we had an accident last night right in front of fire station number one. Somebody decided they really didn't like that light pole that was sitting out in front of the fire station and, well, took it out, Odie. Well, maybe next time they'll move it. Yeah. We had to wake up Mississippi Power <laughs> to return everybody that had power in that area. This would be the wow. 14th Street area, directly across from 911 office. Yeah, uh, I called and checked on them, made sure. Of course, we've got generators for backup, but it's always good to know when when we don't have power in that right. building. Even with generators, we still want to be down there and on standby. And, uh, so everything ended up being okay. Uh, we don't know what caused the accident of the person to run through the concrete and jump up there and just grab that. We don't know that. Ah, it had to hurt. It did. Police came also. We had the uh, Metro folks show up just to check on everybody. Always. But it was no injuries. <clears throat> so that was a good thing. That's good. Yeah. We're looking now. Harold's been busy. He's got another job in Clark County. Harold moving on up. <laughs> Harold <laughs> has got to go. Let's see. This is near Pachuta where he's got to go today. Mm. We've had reports of, well, mailboxes being gone through. As we go to our friends at Clark County Hot Topics, here it is. Woo! Wow. It's a mystery. Through. You know, that's federal offense. It is. That's not a little local. Yeah, that, that's a more serious crime there. Yeah. You might get a skid more lunch for a day or two while you're at the bear yacht, but you're not going to stay in that place long being federal. Before long, you'll be having high school food again somewhere. Yes, we all know those lunch rooms, how great they are. That square pizza. <laughs> With the spoon in the middle of the fork, of yeah, the yeah. cookie. Yeah. You yeah. remember that? I sure those do. great designs. Yeah, peanut butter cookie. There you go. So, <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I don't understand why somebody would want to do that to begin with. But uh, Well, you know, I mean, we don't do cash anymore. Used to, yeah, you would mail cash to people nowadays people just don't mail cash no they don't Ed. Uh, you're not gonna so you're gonna get a f- check and try and cash it i mean that leaves a paper trail it does uh, but be stupid if you want to that's what it amounts to hey look we got word a few moments ago that something went uh south in oak Tibaha county this is northern mississippi oh. we got an inmate on the run. We don't know where he went. He could have had headed south. Starkville has been looking uh, as we pull this up. This is what the man looks like. Here he is. He was on cafeteria detail making those cookies like you were talking about. Yeah. I wonder if they let him use a fork or if it was a spork. 
It may have been a spork. Yeah, plastic one. But uh, he walked off. Uh, last seen on Jackson Street, Martin Luther King Drive. Uh, they're looking for him right there. Uh, William Storm. He's 47 years old. He lives in Memphis. Mm. Sounds as though he's run south. He could have went either way. But be on the lookout. Right there is the picture that they provided to us there from Oktibaha Hall County Sheriff's Department there. A good look at that. And uh, Yeah. I mean, we're not that far. No, we're not. We could be coming through here. This is a good place to stop and get gas. So keep that noggin in your in your memory. And if you see something, call nine one one. What is the? Uh, think back on this, Odie. What was what was the? Because I saw the movie. What was the toy as a kid that you most remember wanting Santa to bring you? Does anything sticks out? You know, I love the race tracks, but you know, Evil Knievel. Uh, mm-hmm. That was a. A big one that that kids wanted, but I liked uh, electric trains and so it wasn't the and I bought my own. I said I remember I saved up. It was nine dollars and fifty cents, and I saved up my allowance till I could afford it. The BB gun, the the Red Rider. What now? My I granddad saw that this weekend. That's a good movie. The Christmas Story. My my granddad got me a BB gun. So you already had that one. So I had to be begun. But, man, let me tell you all something. That's something exciting for a kid to get. It's uh, nothing like a a Red Rider BB gun. They are absolutely (laughs) fun. It really is. Uh, And it teaches them responsibility. Yep. You know, with some strict strict rules. Vacuum cleaners love BBs all all over the carpet. Oh, yeah. And you can get them. I mean, what was it like? 25 cents, you could get that tube. Yeah, the little, <laughs> you try to pour it in a little hole and <laughs> and half of them went out. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. Well, that uh, that movie was on this week. And you can't stop but help him watch the Christmas story. We're getting into the, and we're going to have to put a, a survey out there of the best Christmas movies to watch each year. Of you got to have. The Elf, we know, is up there at the top. Got to see it. Yeah, all right. So since we're talking about Christmas movies, is yeah. it or is it not? A Christmas movie. And that I is, know where you're going. <laughs> you know which one it is. I do. And that's the uh the shoot 'em up at the uh, Die Hard. Die Hard. To co- to the Tacoma uh, Tacoma building. Yeah. Yeah. To me it's not a Christmas movie, but <laughs> somehow it began. Well, they were at a Christmas party. That's true. And of course he had such a minor role but the limo driver with the teddy bear in the back. <laughs> Did he not make that movie? It was just really a cameo. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Oop, a Wonderful Life. Mm, that's the top. Home Alone. I saw Charlie Brown on at my mom's when Brown I walked Christmas. through there the other day on the TV. Yep. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, <laughs> what about a leg lamp? I, need, a leg? I have not. I need one of those. <laughs> and a Christmas vacation. Oh, uh, it's top notch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but really, can you get a leg lamp anywhere? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I need one of those. Of Head course, to, now you can probably get it on Amazon. I'll be here in two days. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the weapon. I don't remember. Did, did that have a Christmas scene in it? Maybe it did. Ooh, I can't remember. Possibly. A Possibly. Christmas Carol, Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, yeah. Oh, strong movie there. Blasphemy. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Roku even classifies it as one. <laughs> it has been changed to one. Uh, yeah. Holiday Affair. Don't know that one. I don't either. Never heard of that. Either. Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> Those suntans. <laughs> and what was it when you get that shot and you can't, and you can't move your face anymore that Kenny Rogers had? Oh. Uh, uh, Those uh, shots. Yeah. Uh, it's not lipo. Botox. So Botox. There you go. <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing today? <laughs> the, the odds of me getting one of them are slim. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, uh, let's see here. But a bunch of movies coming in. But we're going to put up yeah. a, a a thread on that to where you can comment about your favorite Christmas movie because they are good. <laughs> Fred Claus. Fred did you Claus, ever watch that one? I did. I saw about yep. 10 minutes of it. I didn't see all of it. Bad Santa. That was on last yeah, night. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, oh, golly, what's his name? Yeah, uh, my uh, yeah him, Joe Lee. Joe Lee's ex-husband. Y'all know who? It, Billy Bob. Thornton. Billy Bob. Yeah, the Grinch. Jim Carrey's the Grinch. Yeah, he's one of those. So there, <laughs> there's a few hints as to what to be watching in between now and yeah. uh, Christmas. 
We'll be right back. Scotty Ray and Odie starting your morning, and we're going to tell you about all things local here in just a second of things that have happened. Don't be rushing off. If it's crossed your mind about a new tractor, visit my friends at Freeman Tractor on Highway 494 here in Collinsville. They got any style, any size that you're looking for. And right now, you can take advantage of getting a new tractor, a trailer, and a bush hog, all for $31,000, 0% interest for 84 months. Yeah, 0% for 84 months. Also, a great service department to work on any tractor that you have. From bush hogs, discs, and tillers, see it all at Freeman Tractor, Highway 494 in Collinsville. As the seasons change, so do your clothes. And Garrett Sports Center on 8th Street has exactly what you need. Hey, Bo shirts, long as short sleeve. Also, Hulk shirts. And America's favorite brand, Carhartt. Whether you need work pants or slacks for church. And nothing lasts like a pair of Carhartt overalls. Maybe it's a set of boots that you need. From box to lacrosse, they have the boot for you. And as hunting season rolls in, they have all the camouflage you need and toboggans to boot. Garrett Sports Center. 3505 8th Street, Meridian. Have you been wanting your own building, your own shed? Speak to our friends at Best Sadia Building, 601-728-1954. Now, they can custom build you a home from a barn dominium. Maybe it's a shed that you're needing or a simple place to park your car, a garage, a camp house. Maybe you need a place to park your tractor, your motorcycle, or even that lawnmower. They can custom design whatever it is you need. Quality work, trustworthy, best set of your buildings. Speak with Drew, 601-728-1954. Somebody go by and feel the temperature on Sandy White's head. Make sure she feels okay. I ain't never yeah. heard of this movie. Christmas Chronicles, Kurt Russell? She just woke up. She ain't feeling good, is yeah. she? Is that really a movie? I don't remember it. But now, Dot said Candy Cane Christmas with Eddie Murphy, uh, brand new, and, and every time I turn on the TV on my fire stick, it pops up advertising that. So uh, that is something that I want to watch. Eddie Murphy is just funny. Oh, he uh, is. And he's got clean funny. He's one of those that can be funny on dirty and funny when he's clean. Yeah, and I like the clean, and you do, do too. Oh. Uh, Santa strutting to, to staying alive in a commercial. So uh, apparently this is a movie here. Look at this. There's Kurt Russell there. Is He makes pretty good old Santa, doesn't he? Well, yeah, he does. But uh, I've uh, never heard of that. The Christmas Chronicle. And they've got two parts. Huh. Well, oh, Sandy. Oh, that was a Netflix, uh, Netflix flick. Okay. So maybe that's why. Sandy, help us out here. Yeah. Oh, and everybody's telling us now it's on Netflix. You and I are behind. Hmm. All the way from Clarkdale, Mac, how in the world are you doing? We hope you're feeling great there. We had a uh, uh, an instance where the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department done some backup yesterday as we had a shoplifter as the Meridian Police Department. Mm. Got a call. Shoplifter. Taking stuff from Dollar General that's not theirs. It was a female on top of it. Well. She took off wearing a gray hoodie down the street. Well, the Meridian Police Department showed up. She was apprehended. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's good to know. That Most of the time, and I hate to even say it, the word most of the time, they slip off and get away, and well, no one knows where they went. No one's caught. But, yeah, hey, that uh, that's a big deal there. We got somebody to brag on here now. Uh, Odie, let's talk about, number one, how much money was raised here. Look at you this. Know, this, is some, this is the 14th year <clears throat> that the uh, Bikers United for Children come together with the Wesley House and do their toy drive and they've raised fifteen thousand dollars wow and then at least five thousand dollars worth of toys on top of it on top of that 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 they were able to give to the wesley house and i want to say wesley house has 360 kids that they're trying to do christmas for and this is this is going to take place this is going to help these kids Wake up with a Christmas. Uh, Let's hear just a little awesome. bit of a, a rumble as they were pulling into the parking lot there. Let me let me pull over here and pull this up here. This is uh, the guys pulling in. Now, as you can tell, that that's a he heap of uh, <laughs> heap of riders there as they they pull in there. Thanks for Meridian Fire Department coming out and displaying that flag as they fly under it. Uh, you know, they've been a part of this every year. Uh, it's just great having them 
welcoming the riders as they come from uh, Hampton Inn uh, over off of 39 and they bring straight over here and uh, it, it's it's a wonderful feeling to see that many people come together to bring toys and then the church feeds them and takes care of them and then they have a silent auction uh, able to raise some more I'm not a silent auction I'm sorry Bowland auctions come and did a live auction um, for different items. And oh, that's good. It, it's just a fun day. Everybody had a blast, and it's a good time for the kids. Uh, as we look at some of these, um, and I have to say this, when something is good, because my wife brought it, I have not seen it, but the new Chevrolet commercial. Have you heard about this? Is that the one where uh, Santa Claus is doing uh, Staying Alive? No, no, this is the one oh. to where it has the elderly lady that has uh, uh, what you, uh, or memory loss. Uh, Dementia? Dementia, yeah, and she goes for a ride in the uh, the older Chevrolet, and it brings back. Oh, I hear it just tugs oh, at the heart. I bet that, yeah. Uh, they're after Budweiser is what they're after, as, as we all know. The King of Beers forever had the the best TV commercials when it comes to Christmas and things of that nature. So, someone making a who'd they hire that's smart at Chevrolet? Well, don't know. I hadn't heard on that one. Most of these uh, make commercials now that you sit back and you go, what was that about? So kudos, yeah. Chevrolet. We give you a yeah. thumbs up from the report this morning of doing something great. Because you had, you know, Coca-Cola and the polar bear sharing that Coca-Cola for Christmas. Uh, now Chevrolet's come to do something like that. Well, that would, man, I'm, my old heart string got tugged on just listening to the description of it. Yeah, I'm going I'm to share that. I, I, yeah. I got a text there from my wife that said that it is on my personal Facebook, so I'll take that and share it on our page after the show because when something is done that is exceptional, it needs to be recognized, and, and uh, yeah. I'm glad for that. Yeah. Let's see what else uh, went on. As we all know, we had an escaped inmate uh, that happened in Meridian, uh, what was that, a little over a week ago, about a week ago. Mississippi right. Department of Corrections had an inmate here that they had left uh, after court was taken back to Walnut Grove. Somehow or another ended up in the parking lot of Churchy's Chicken. And next thing you know, I got to run to keep from hiding. <sighs> yeah. And he got away. And still running. We go to Louisiana next. Iberville Parish is where we go. This is the latest. Yesterday at 635, the Sheriff's Department suspended the search for this man. This is the man that broke away from Meridian. What did he do? He stole a vehicle in Louisiana. A mm. big car chase crashed. And yet again, Odie, he ran on foot and got away. This guy's fast. He is He is quick. Uh, I have no doubt he's going to be caught. It's not going to be easy. Uh, but still on the run. Uh, hopefully they'll get him took care of. Pretty soon. Uh, no description of what he's wearing now from the uh, the police <clears throat> department. We'll see if we can't find that out. But uh, as they urge you in the Louisiana area, keep your doors locked until they know more if he's still in the state and in those areas there. Uh, so that's one of the things that uh, is going on. We did have a little bit of gunfire overnight last night, Odie. And this will be just off of North Hill Street as we go here. It's the 4800 block of King Road. Back down this direction is where you'll have the bowling alley. This is just yeah. up from there. King Road, right down from there, 4,800 block. Mm. About seven or eight shots fired. No one hit that we were aware of or any injury. So, But it's still important to know what's going on yeah. on, on your side of town as we look at a few of these stories there. And we have to say congratulations to the West Lauderdale cheerleaders. Look at that. Big winners there. Took first place in the division at the Magnolia Inventual Cheer Competition over in wow. Jackson. Well, good deal. That's congratulations, girls. Yeah. It's uh, always good to be a big winner, isn't it? It really is bringing home some trophy that you earned. Yeah. We're glad that uh, they've done that. Let's see what else we've got going on. We talked about that. Uh, we're going to talk about what goes. I, I want to talk about that in a minute. Mm. Um as we get down, I want to talk about a couple of wrecks that happened down in Clark County. Uh, Odie, there has been a string of just massive uh, wrecks. Look at this from Clark County over the wow. weekend. Upside down. Mm. As we look at a few of these from our friends at Clark County Hot Topics. Uh, not only did we have that one. I know every redneck is going, including me, going, hey, is that bumper? Is, is that for sale? <laughs> <laughs> Can't. 
Can I buy that from you? <laughs> Nothing left of that vehicle fire in Clark County as we look at that other than the front bumper. Yeah. That, uh, you could sandblast that and you'd be okay, wouldn't you? Repaint it and look brand new. Yeah. Uh, that was on uh, in the Carmichael community where that accident or vehicle fire took place. Wow. And I, you know, vehicle act, uh, fires happen all the time. It's weird how it goes. It really is. Uh, dang, heart goes out to them. Yeah. You know, it's tough. You're losing your ride. It, it is. We'll be right back. Put some Christmas cheer on. Our local headlines are brought to you by the Rock House Gun and Pawn. Philadelphia Gun and Pawn, located at 910 Posey Avenue, has tons of lawnmowers to choose from. A big selection of zero-turn lawnmowers, power washers, and even barbecue grills. Step inside the store and see their complete line of Liberty safes along with those browning safes. A large selection of Louis Vuitton purses along with satin shirts and bead sets. And tons to choose from for the outdoorsman in your household. And always a great deal on any type of jewelry you're looking for. And a private lobby for pawns for your confidentiality. Philadelphia Gun and Pawn. Collinsville, Mr. Discount Drugs, your local pharmacy and gift shop, thanks you for your continued support. Whether you shop with us in-store, through our app, over the phone, or in our drive through our team will provide the best personalized customer service experience you expect from your local pharmacy. When you call or message us, you are promptly greeted by the Mr. Discount team that's ready to help. When you choose our pharmacy, you're choosing a locally owned pharmacy that cares about you and your community. Collinsville, Mr. Discount Drugs makes a difference. And welcome back. I'm your friend Scotty Ray along with Odie. Uh, early yesterday morning, I got a, uh, a message that said, uh, if you can, make your way just off south of 8th Street, uh, north of uh, south of 8th Street. Uh, we've had some, some issues going, some vandalism. And as I took off, Odie, this is bad. There's something, there's things that criminals don't even do, and that's when you get to a church. That's, that's yeah. like sacred ground. Well, it is sacred ground. It, it is sacred ground. Uh, as we pull this up for everybody to see, we had two churches in the Meridian area vandalized. Uh, one would be Sunrise Baptist Church near where Mitchell Distributing is. And just north of there, not close, not far from McDonald's, uh, Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, and nearly every one does. They, now, i got to give them credit. Church members jumped up, they brought out plywood, and they boarded up all the windows at both churches so they could have services in time that morning. But as we look at a few, this is this is a scene from the uh, Missionary Baptist Church inside the, the pastor's study there. Each one of these nine, ten windows broken out. You know, you... I don't think Sunrise has, but maybe two windows left in the entire church that has not been busted out. As I spoke to the pastor, he said that this week alone at Missionary, three times they've been vandalized. Three times, Odie. There's nothing in there for you to take its value. You're not going to take some of the items to pawn shop. They know where that's at. Uh, money, they're not keeping money there. And, we, you know, we always talk about Santa Claus is watching. Yeah. Well, the real se reason for the season is Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, there's somebody always watching. Yeah, absolutely. And that's uh, God himself is sitting here watching, and he knows what you're doing and why you did it, because you let Satan into you, your life over, overrule, and that's his sacred ground. That's his home. It is. Uh, now, we've got uh, a man. picture that was provided to me uh, by the pastor as they went back and they pulled security cameras from Missionary Baptist Church. This is an alleged suspect. Uh, as I pulled up, I was at sunrise, taking pictures, and I pull up to the stop sign as I was going to missionary, and all of a sudden he was <laughs> cops everywhere. I thought, whoo. <laughs> and the church would call the Meridian Police Department and say, there's the suspect. And the Meridian Police Department got after this man all the way back there near Budweiser as the chase, and he slipped away as well. Mm. This is the suspect. If you happen to know him or know where he is, contact the Meridian Police Department. Again, you're innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, but this comes from the camera footage there at Missionary Baptist Church uh, and then turn it over to the law's hands. But he was seen jumping the fence from there, and they pointed the direction the police went after him. They had two encounters with him yesterday, and uh, each time he wow. eluded police. Uh, that's just, uh, again, some things you don't do. 
But and you know, and I don't report enough on all of this, so I need because uh, I don't always know in time when something is vandalized. Let us know. It needs to have the uh, attention of our area put on this. If yeah. you live in Clark County, if you're watching from Louisville area, let us know when these things happen because people need to know to be on the lookout. This is your your neighborhood watch, your community watch. Uh, you've got to watch out for each other. Watch out for yourself. Watch out for your neighbors. We're all in this together. Let's do it as a team. You know, and, and I pull this up right here, Odie. This is the front of Sunrise Baptist Church. All down this side here, all the windows are gone. Even this window is busted. You can't tell it here. I got some close-up pictures of it, but all of that is gone. That's terrible. I, barely, and you know how it is of raising money to get your church back. Yeah, not not every church has unlimited funds, and wow, so uh, it is. It, mm. It's awful to do that. To God's house is low. Yes, says. it is. So we're hoping that uh, something will come out of this. Meridian Police Department can bring somebody to justice. Already, what seven twenty six says we had a fantastic time <laughs> Saturday night, did we not? We're gonna bring in some joy now that we're through with that. Yeah, it was fun. We had our train out. And uh, we've been working on this for a month. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I tell you what, that was uh, Angie and Amy, not my Amy. My Amy, my uh, Amy. Did a wonderful job on this. Now, my Amy came and helped uh, Friday and did a lot of work with it and all. But uh, Amy and Angie are the key that put this thing together. Man, they've done a fantastic job there as we look at this. Yes. A lot of folks, the parade was wonderful. That uh, they just pulled together and uh, even Chino, Chino out there, look at him. <laughs> whooping out some great cars there for it there. The Corvettes. Uh, and of course, this would win first place prize right here. This was uh, uh, Oshner Rush who walked away with that. But hey, what happened here, Odie? <laughs> Third place. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> the Scotty Ray Report Express. <laughs> Uh, placed at the Meridian Christmas Parade. Man, what an awesome time it was. Yep. Uh, as we're looking there, that's uh, Oshner Rush or Oshner Health. A little name change there on the shirt. Yeah, there, I yeah. I don't see Rush anywhere on Nowhere. that. Nowhere. They took Oshner Rush off and just put Oshners. Huh. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, this is Walmart coming in at second place. Yeah. And uh, as we get into that, that's uh, we strapped that bad boy on the front and <laughs> went off into the parade. A nighttime oh, look at some of the things of the kids that were there. Okay, well, there's oh. more pictures somewhere. I didn't show them all. Yeah. But uh, thought at first we might have some issues there, but the rain cleared out. We had a little bit of a sprinkle at one point. Oh, it, it, and then it, it kind of hit us on the head for about three minutes. Yeah. And then cleared right up. And we'll be firing up the Express again. We will be in uh, Collinsville this weekend for their big Christmas parade. And we're going to go over yeah. Christmas parades. We've got three tonight, don't we? Three tonight. We've got Louisville has got theirs tonight. Philadelphia has got theirs tonight. And Quitman has theirs tonight. So, uh, I don't know if Barry will be able to get Harold back from Pachuda in time to get him to Quitman. Man, we need him in the parade. Yeah. I sure hoping that he'd pull us there in an open horse carriage. It, I think it'd be nice. <laughs> it <would. laughs> but come on out. They would love yeah. to. In each one of these towns, as they uh, they bring out their best uh, to bring Christmas cheer to everyone. Yes, uh, they do. And we'll be listing all these other parades that are going to be coming up. We've still got Marion. We've still got Collinsville and all the different areas. I also want to say that uh, coming up, Paulding's Christmas parade is not long from now. I had a copy of it and can't locate it. Uh, but if if you've got a Christmas parade, please let us know. Inbox us. Let us know about that so we can uh, spread the cheer so everyone can come out and enjoy these Christmas parades. I just got a little chill because Janet says, good morning, watching from Denver, Colorado. Oh, that does make me get a chill, yeah, too. Just listening to that. Janet, do you <laughs> happen to know? I'm just curious what the temperature is where you're at right now. Yeah. It, uh, Besides cold. Because <laughs> we know it's cold. Let me see here. Mm. I can do this, Odie. Let's just back out here. And let's just go over this way here. And let's pull up the map here. It's got an exclamation point on it. <laughs> <laughs> Something going on out there. 
Mm. Look at that. Uh, thunderstorm wind gust, 68 miles an hour. Let's just see what's happening in Pueblo. Oh. 19 degrees in Pueblo, Colorado. Woo. Feels like 11. Makes me really want to be there. Yeah. Let's go up to Denver, John Denver country. Uh, 33 warmer there. Yeah. Wind chill of uh, 24. 24. Hmm. And let's see here. Where are some other big uh, Fort Collins? Let's go back down here to the southern portion. Yeah, Pueblo in this area here, the southern portion seems to be colder. Wow. That one had a feels like eight. That one's a 19. I'll tell you where you don't want to be is anywhere up this way. Let's just <laughs> let's just look. Let's find out what's going on in Bismarck. Oh, it's actually warmer than I thought. What about Yellowstone? They're fixing to film another show. Let's see here, Wyoming. Uh, That's an un. 24. See, it's so ain't nobody even there. No, they didn't even name that town. They said it's un nobody's here. Three Forks, Wyoming, thirty-six degrees. But I'm this yeah. these areas up in here. That's usually Bismarck, South Dakota, twenty-four. Okay, well, nothing. Uh, temperature thirteen there. Yeah, that's still cold enough for me. Yeah, so a little as we. Scattered mm. across the country to see what was going on. Woo. Union High School girls received second place at the Magnolia Regional uh, in Jackson. Uh, received another bid for the Nationals for the third time this season. Uh, so they're competing in the 2A state championship. Congratulations there. So, yeah, go for it, <clears throat> Union. Jerry joining us from the Beau Rivage. What a great place that is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Too good. Luanda says just too cold for her. We'll be right back. Yeah. We're going down memory lane, get caught up on a few birthdays and things. So if you haven't let us know about your birthday, do so now. We'll be right back as we get this rolling. Patrick Allen Companies has a wide selection of garage doors that will fit your style, add value to your home, and add curb appeal to your neighborhood. Patrick Allen also has top-of-the-line energy-efficient replacement windows that will make your home look great while saving you money. We're family-owned and operated, and we take pride in our work. 5305 Highway 145 South in Meridian. For all your garage doors and replacement windows, call Patrick Allen Companies. Thank you, bye. And if you need a front-end alignment, make sure to try their new state-of-the-art alignment machine. No matter the size of your truck and car, J&J &J can align it. J&J &J also has touch-free mounting, laser wheel balancing, and as always, they provide preventive maintenance, including CV axles, shocks, struts, brakes, with the largest selection of new and used tires, along with exhaust systems. Locally owned and operated since 1978 in Meridian. For something as vital as your eyes, you should have your lenses and contacts made with the utmost care and precision. And that's what Grayson Optical does on 24th Avenue. Since 1996, Grayson Optical's mission has been to provide Meridian and surrounding areas with quality eye care products. That's why we're locally owned and operated. And don't forget, custom-made sunglasses like Costa for your eyes only. When you need to see clearly, Grayson Optical. 2021 24th Avenue, Meridian, 601-693-6374. And welcome back. I'm your friend, Scotty Ray. And Odie, as we find out, uh, we got a Mississippi Highway Patrolman changing a tire up at Lauderdale, Mississippi this morning, helping yeah. somebody out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's some good guys out sure there are. at the uh, Highway Patrol. Work with them a lot. And... Uh, Every one of them are, are definitely good people, and that's that's awesome to hear that, that they're out there. So be careful when you're on, I guess we're going to say Highway 45 up in Lauderdale. If you see him on the side of the road, stop and give him a hand. Yeah, yeah, probably could use it, couldn't he? He could. Right, he we could got a, do it. Got a few birthdays that have trickled right. in this morning. Yeah, Betty Miles is 81 years young today. Woo-woo. Cade Reynolds is 11 years old today. Uh, Robert uh, Davidson is a 74 years young today, and Lisa Henderson Walker. We didn't get an age for her, but happy birthday to each and every one of y'all. I uh, hope y'all have a wonderful day. I uh, hope it's a great day, and uh, just stay stay warm. It's not going to be too cold today. That's right. As we go back in time, let's go back to 1783, and you think, well, why in the world would y'all bring up such a a year or so long, long ago. Well, it was a day that old boy called everybody in that had worked for him over the past, well, eight, nine years. It's probably a little bit longer than that as yeah, military because well. he was close to them. 
As America struggled for its independence, a guy named George Washington called all his generals together and said, boys, this is it. I'm going back to Mount Vernon. We're just going to get on that white horse and ride off. And that's exactly <laughs> what he did in 1783. He told his men that he was leaving and going home. He resigned and going back to Mount Vernon. I'm sure somewhere in the back of his mind, he felt that, well, things were developing, that he may not stay there forever. And as we all know, he would be elected president not long from there. But George, he could have changed history. He could have done just as though England. He could have been appointed and there not being a presidency. But that's not the way it was in the end, was it? He took and got voted. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's all America, what it is now. 1840, let's go back there. This is very important also. Uh, yeah. You've heard of the Battle of Little Bighorn, haven't you? That's right. And this is the man that they say uh, changed the course of history for Custard. As we go back to Crazy Horse, a brave, uh, uh, of course, he was a uh, chief. He done a lot there. Crazy Horse yes, goes down did. in history there. And, you know, uh, he's the one that they're portraying the uh, big rock statue uh, that, that they're, they're out there building now. Been building on it for or been sculpting it uh, for years. Uh, and that is a commemoration for uh, Crazy Horse. But as, uh, as we all know, if you really read history, Custard, how he could have, he even got tipped. Don't go there. Don't go. We've seen a lot of activity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Goldilocks went right on. He yeah. was smarter than everybody else. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out so well. A guy that would interview Elvis Presley, and a lot of, not a lot of people, uh, I forget what the name of the, the show was he had. He was a radio disc jockey, and he interviewed a guy named Elvis Presley. Well, he would get his foot yeah. in the door to become a celebrity, and, well, what he's really remembered for are game show hosts. Do you remember Wink Martindale? Uh, Wink Martindale. Yep. 1933 is when Wink was born. And it would be Elvis that made him who he was. I don't care how you strike it or change it. Now, this guy, I think everybody liked him. In both, oh, yeah. both of these uh, roles that he played. Yeah, Highway to Heaven. I don't think either one of them could walk down a hospital hallway. Nope, nope. <laughs> Look, you come in the back door. We'll cover you up somehow. We'll get you in the room you need to go to, but you don't need to freely walk down our hallway. <laughs> Absolutely not. Victor French was born on this day. And, of course, you'll remember him from Little House on the Prairie, and then he went on to work with Michael Landon again. And how would he? I think he wasn't but 56 years old when he passed away. Wow. Uh, young guy. Mm. But, now yeah. you know, glancing at this, and this is just me. I don't know men's age, but you would think he was older than 56 just by his gruff look. But man, he he played a great it wasn't part. The gray is <laughs> I, that's still good. That's still good. But I can't say any of that. That is turned. <laughs> We've got a lot of people. Yvonne from Enterprise, Patsy right Clark County. Clark County is a uh, huge supporter. Loves watching the show, and we love y'all being here with us. So Clark County, a special good morning today. Some folks can, well, they can really act and do a good job at it. Yeah, Some just dope. stay hungry the entire time. <laughs> what was the term that he referred to food as? Vittles. Vittles. As we go back to remember, <laughs> Matt's Bear was born. And if, correct me if I'm wrong on this, Odie. Wasn't his dad a huge boxer? If I, I am not uh, mistaken, that's who his daddy was, and he's named after his dad. Now that you say that, I want to say that I've heard something. I could be wrong, about that. but yeah. uh, I, I think so. He was the only one that could do the reading there for all of them. Yeah, and you had to write slow because he read slow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this has a tie to Meridian if you get into this. Uh, as you look back at uh, Graham Parsons. And this guy has a birthday today, the Flying Burrito Bar Brothers. Ah, oh, as we remember, Chris Hillman was born on this date. You remember all these acts that uh, took place in the, and eventually would become the Desert Rose Band, Chris Hillman. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day. <sighs> Surfing USA. I wish they could all be California girls. I'm sure that there's other kids that the Beach Boys had. Surfing U.S., uh, that always sticks in my Surfing head. Brian, uh, Dennis Wilson was born on this day. He was one of the original co-founded the Beach Boys. I saw them in a uh, concert in 1985 at 
Fort A.P. Hill for the National Boy Scout Jamboree. They came and put on a big concert. Nancy Reagan showed up and talked to us all. It was like 30,000 Boy Scouts. Woo. And uh, we were able to have a, uh, a concert from them. It was pretty cool. So Carl says, yes, Ma and somebody else put on here too. Bob said, uh, yes, Max Bear was a pro-ranked boxer. And that was his dad. So I guess that was his dad. Boy. So I good deal. I couldn't be a boxer. Yeah. Did you ever watch the movie Thunderbolt and Lightfoot? It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, you need to go back because it was Clint Eastwood. And if Clint yeah. Eastwood does a movie, well, it's just good. And if Jeff Bridges is in it with him? Well, what if you went to prison? Let me, let me give you the plot of the movie. You go to okay. prison. You get arrested for, for stealing a whole bunch of money. But you don't talk. You don't tell where it is. Okay. You get out of prison. And everybody that was involved in that knows that you knows where it is. You got to get there first. They're following you, trying to get you. And that's what Clint Eastwood was doing, trying to get to the little schoolhouse in the back wall where they had restored it, where he put the money. Oh. And Jeff Bridges just happened to bump into him, and he rode with him the entire way. As we go back, Jeff Bridges born on this. That was way back when, a young man, and then Clint Eastwood. I'll have to go back and watch. It does sound pretty interesting. Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. It, it, was, it was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll check that out. 1956, a picture would be made today that, well, today still stands the test of time. It was called the Million Dollar Quartet. You ever heard of that? Uh, vaguely. As now we pull this up, a Memphis reporter snapped this picture. There you have Elvis, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, all sitting right there. And Jerry Lee. With Jerry Lee Lewis. The Million Dollar Quartet. Wow. You'd figure Jerry Lee would be the one sitting at the piano. You would think so. But uh, Elvis is burning it up on that one. Thought you might want to remember that. 1956. Cool. As we go back, this guy, <laughs> you saw it once a year, and you had to uh, sit, put your schedule around to watch. What am I talking yeah. about? The Wizard of Oz, as we would lose the cowardly lion on this day in 1967. He actually looks pretty close to that in real life, doesn't he? Yeah, they didn't have to use a whole lot of makeup. There you go. That was 1939 that that movie came out. That would be the wow. same year as Gone with the Wind would roll out in Atlanta. Had some good movies mm. that year, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That was a good time. As we go back, this girl. Anybody remember watching My Cousin Vinny? I love it. Tell me, what's unique about this 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 car? These <laughs> yeah, tires. What do you see? And she went off on it. It's positive traction. It's positive. And There's positive no traction way. didn't come out in that time. There's no way a Tempest could have made that. <laughs> As we go back for, do you, how do you pronounce that last name? Marissa Tomei. Tomei. She was born on that. Of course, I don't know of anything else that she's done. She's uh, been in a few things. This says The Wrestler. I've never seen that, and I've never seen in the bedroom. It's not polite to be sneaking in and looking at that kind of stuff. <laughs> Hmm. I, I don't know this guy, but I know Jay I know Z. the name that he's big in his field. A rapper. Jay-Z was born on this day back in 69. He's even been in a few movies. He's done a few things. Jay-Z. Jay 1971, there's a lot of women that their hearts are broke still to this day that this happened. Yeah. 1971, hmm. he would marry his high school sweetheart, Norma. Still married today. One of the few that have made it that long. George Strait, a legend in his own right. Uh, yes, he is. Like that man. Mm. 1971, Charlie Pride would go to, well, go to number one today. A fellow Mississippian, and boy, I remember this. It was right after, is anybody going to San Antonio? But this would, I don't know which one is bigger. Is anybody going to San Antonio Ooh. or this big hit of You've Got to Kiss an Angel Good, good morning. morning and Love Her Like the Devil When You Get Back Home? We got to see his guitar. We sure did. Over at the mansion. Yeah. Mm. And you know, when Those Charlie are. Pride first come out, he was known as Country Charlie Pride. They had that attached yeah. to his name. Toured with George Jones. Man, what a talent he is. Mountain of Love. And I really, I, and you know, I, and let me just say this, because I disagree with what happened in the state of Mississippi. I truly do. Steve Azar got the new Mississippi song. And I don't agree with it. By far and away, 
Charlie Pride should have the Mississippi song of Roll On Mississippi. I yeah. do not. I've listened to the Steve. I love him to death, but there's a lot of politics, I think, went into that. And Charlie Pride should have the state song. There's no changing it now. It's already happened. They're making big promote. But I mm. think Charlie Pride was uh, done up on that issue. I, I, I truly believe that from the bottom of my heart. Well, that was, he's still music when music was. Uh, big River Roll. Telling a story and, and what music meant. Oh, he was burgers and fries and cherry pies in a world <laughs> I'll never forget. Charlie Pride, d- mm. does my ring hurt your finger when you go out at night? Woof, does that tell a story? Yeah. The crystal chandelier. He goes on and on of just Charlie Pride of how good he was. And you're so yeah. good when you're bad. But when an angel lets her hair down. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> If y'all have never heard that song, take a moment and go look it up today. Let's go back to 1973. She's a beautiful lady. As Tyra Banks was born yeah. on this date. Supermodel. She even appeared on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air at one time. Yeah, I, I, I think I remember that. But now, now mm-hmm. as, you, as we oft, often talk about songs that paint a picture, uh, you, uh, the one thing that pops in mind that may be similar to this was Alabama Old Flame. But Dolly, in 1979, pre-Alabama, wrote a song called Old Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You. She bumps into an old friend downtown shopping somewhere, and all oh, the memory came back. But she goes, whew, maybe a little spark there, but it ain't nothing compared to you to make her husband feel better. Now, she was probably trying to make him feel better <laughs> about old Porter. Probably so. But a great song there. Old Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You. 1979 mm. was when the day it was. She went into... The recording studio right before Christmas. Now, I didn't watch this, but it was big back in the 80s. I remember the name, but I'm like you. I, I could tell you any of those it. characters. No. Falcon Crest. They were really trying hard to catch it with Knott's Landing in Dallas, and <laughs> they came to the game a little late, so to speak. Yeah. Even Hank Jr. sang about the This ain't Dallas, and you ain't Sue Ellen. <laughs> we're just a man and a woman trying to make a living. <laughs> Let's go back to night. To, well, it was actually 2004. Boy, this doesn't seem that long ago, but it is. As Gary Allen had a number one hit today with nothing yeah, on but the radio. the radio. Oh yeah. Gary had done so well of getting mm. over alcoholism, and if you remember, his wife uh, committed. They had like nine kids together, and she committed suicide wow. in the home. And well, that drove him back to. Boy, that's a that was a tough one there. And I hope Gary's got everything straightened out now. What a what a great yeah. talent he is. And they told him, you can't be drinking up here on the stage at the Shelby County Fair. Give me that whiskey bottle. You're in a dry county. It took quite a while before the show started back up. Oh, yeah. 2020, this guy would pass away. Uh, you won't remember him by the name David, but you'll know him as what, Odie? Squiggly. <laughs> <laughs> there was that point there in the middle. Yeah, yeah. it looked like a little monster. Squiggly. From the Laverne and Shirley show, man, <laughs> Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm. We would lose a great in Nashville. I've been here 15 years and still got life to go. Waterloo was a couple of the songs. As we lost Stonewall Jackson back in 21, he wow. had a bunch of them. Still got life to go. You remember mm. that one? Yeah, I do. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that's what happens when that uh, love gets out of hand and you do something you shouldn't, you'll have life to go. Uh, yeah. He did. Yep. Well, it's, um, we got more to come. Don't rush off. We got a yeah. lot of local events still to talk to you about as we gather together this early Monday morning. Have you seen the selection of cars and trucks at Massey Supermart Auto Sales lately? How about a Grand Cherokee Jeep 4x4 Limited? They've got that in white and also gray. They have a like new 2021 Wrangler Unlimited 4x4. Or maybe your family needs room. Have you checked out the Ford Expedition lately? 1023 Highway 39 Bypass, Massey Supermart Auto Sales. The low profit dealer, Massey Supermart. Meridian's favorite barbecue is Squealer's Barbecue. Name the barbecue capital for the state of Mississippi. Whether it's barbecue, wings, or burgers, Squealer's simply has the best for a family environment. Every Thursday night, there's live music out on the porch. 
Takeout orders are welcome, and whether it's your next tailgate or large catering event, your friends at Squealers are there to help. Drop in for lunch today or a night out on the town. Squealers Barbecue, the best in fine barbecue. Have you heard? Broadmoor Wine and Spirits is under new management. Now, they're conveniently located at 4900 Poplar Springs Drive. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 9 for your convenience. They have such a large selection of wine and spirits. That's mixed drinks, box wines, brands that you're familiar with. Our shelves are stocked. Come by and let us earn your business. That's Broadmoor Wine and Spirits, conveniently located at 4900 Poplar Springs Drive. Yeah. And welcome back. Let's talk about our friends. We got a bunch of friends. But boy, at the top of the list, Miss Amanda and her gang, they want to wish you a Merry Christmas, number one. A big thank you to everybody that's done business with them since they started. And what a great company it is. Whenever you need a home or you're selling or buying one, talk to them first. Find out what, well, good friendship is all about. You make a friend for sure. 453 3937. They got a lot of agents that help you out. Bend over backwards to help you in any kind of way. Uh, located right there in Broadmoor, just whoop in from any style home that you're looking for. Odie, and you know these, you've seen some of these pictures from Dalewood to Enterprise. If you want to go to the cab, they've got that all around, even over in the Brandon area, Lake Ross Collins. You name it, they've got a home for you there. They'll be open till five o'clock this afternoon, appointment on Saturday, and close on Sunday. Visit you with know, them today. This is a company that can help you start out. Are you just a brand new couple? You're getting married, you need a starter home. They can help you out at Snowden and Company. Are you starting a family and need to upgrade to a two, three, five bedroom? Yep. Snowden and Company can be the one that will stand by you and make sure that happens. Or are you an empty nester and ready to downsize and go back to a small place to clean? You can, matter of fact, you can go online, look at all the houses, then call a separate appointment. That's it. Snowden and Company, they're the one for you. Can find you a Christmas home. Woohoo, just in time. Let's see what else is going on today, Odie, as we look around at some of the, the headlines that are happening here. Let's go down and uh, see what else we've had go on. Uh, we had, And I bring this up. You know where Queen City Truck Stop is? Yeah. Right down the road. You know where the railroad tracks are if you were to go west toward Jackson on Frontage yep, Road? Yep, 65th right there. Right there. Here we go. Right there. We had a man in traffic. He just kept jumping out in front of cars. There at the railroad traffic. Ooh, that's not good. Our tracks. I said that wrong. Our didn't tracks. I? I had to back up and say that. Wow. He uh, got a free ride downtown. Well, Marine Police Department help. was glad to let him get that view of that little cage there in the back seat. He couldn't no door handles. Oh, he can't get out. Just hold on. That uh, happened over the weekend. Things like that do happen. And we go back to one of our most wrecked places in Lauderdale County. Let's go to what we call Dead Man's yeah. Curve. Here we go. It is, I don't know what it is, that area. We are guaranteed to have wrecks there anytime it rains. Every single time. And it doesn't, it's without fail. And as we brought up Queen City Truck Stop, what is this, maybe three miles from there? Yeah. Somebody really wanted some of those hamburger steaks because they just jumped right over the rail, flipped the car to get there. Here wow. we go. That is the scene early Saturday morning, mm. as we see right there before daylight, another car flipped there. You can see it right there on its side. Right. You can see the bottom side of it. Yeah. And I get asked this a lot lately, and I don't know if you know any better answer than I do. Why has it been lately so many cars flip and wrecks? You know, the only thing you can really come up with is overcorrection. Um, you yank a steering wheel. And, and the, the momentum of the vehicle turns, tires grab, and it just goes over. Uh, speed has a huge contribution to uh, overturning a vehicle. Let's uh, go to 8th Street, 45th Avenue. As you go past McDonald's, you're going toward downtown Meridian. You get to that stoplight where Mr. Discount Drugs used to be. Yeah. Take a left, and right up the road, we had an accident with injuries as we look at this. Look at the front of that car there. Ooh. Here's our second one that was involved. Again, with injuries, we're in fire department and Metro, and everybody showed up to help out in that situation. Uh, we do hope everybody's recovering. It's going to be some sore folks. Wow. I had a little meeting with the uh, Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department Saturday morning about 5 o'clock. Oh. You know, they were all gathered in, in the roadway. All on the road. <laughs> so I thought, well, let me stop and see what everybody's doing. Toyota pickup truck rolled two or three times there. This would be at Windsor and also Barnhill Road in the West Lauderdale community. Look at that. Wow. Three guys in the pickup truck, nobody hurt. 
it was a blessing. God's hand. And I'm not sure how many times it did roll, but uh, that's a total loss. Yeah. You could take a torch and cut the top that off. That one's gone. You can make a convertible. Can you speak French? Nope. I don't I don't even know we what that means. It means that us, is French, isn't it? I think that means yes. Well we got bonjour de France. Does that mean good morning from France or hello from France? I thought bonjour meant bye. I don't know. Stephanie Pierre Elaine Merle? Well, is, get on. I'm saying hello from France. Well there you go. Well look of there. Yeah, I don't I don't know I don't know any French. I don't know. Wee oui, wee oui means I gotta go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. I watched uh, oh. uh, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Chevy Chase. I want to say he broke that down for us. <laughs> yeah, wee wee. <laughs> Bathrooms on the left. Oh, Bob says are y'all parading tonight? Not tonight. No, we all uh, we'll be back out this weekend. Yep, we'll be there Saturday. All right, that means good day, Bonjour. Oh, see, thank I really you, Miss Beverly. It meant well, good day to you, and thank you so much for watching all the way across uh, the yeah. pond to France there. Yeah, I did. I'm learning things. Yep, yeah, me too. We'll remember that. Woo, speaking of McDonald's, we had a uh, an incident. I believe this was uh, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. As we go here, another one of those fender benders. Everybody was okay in the end. Uh, big thank you to this man who jumped out and jumped out and started helping with traffic for the, uh, the police department arrived. That's Several good. folks did. Wow. But as you can see, those happen, and uh, uh, that's probably some total losses going on there. Yeah, that's uh, that hurt that's the a hurt the wheel hit. there. Ooh, yeah, right there. But again, it uh, it takes everybody helping out, and before police arrive, regular citizens do jump in and help a lot of times, and we appreciate that. To, what to prevent others from getting hurt? Yeah. That's now I don't know the end of this, but we do know that this was stolen. Uh, we mentioned it. We're. Uh, a service company pickup truck. Now, I've heard that it's been found. I got to check back with Sheriff Jody Pennington. This was stolen in Newton County uh, Friday, in the earlier morning hours of Friday morning as somebody ran off with this. We'll find out more about that hopefully today and see what we can come up with that. More on the way with Scotty Ray and Odie as we travel through this early, early Monday morning. Yeah. It's that time of year again. The Medicare annual enrollment period is here. From October 15th to December 7th, you have the chance to review and make changes to your Medicare coverage. At Parker Marketing Insurance Advisors, you can speak with our experts to find the plan that fits your needs. Don't miss out. Call 601-512-2100 to secure your health care for the year ahead with Parker Marketing Insurance Advisors. Your health, your choice. Make it count. If every time the wind blows, you get a little leery about a tree over your house, Talk to my friends at Reed Tree Service. There's no reason to be worried about a tree crashing through your house. Mike Reed has years of experience dealing with trees. It can be as simple as having a limb removed or a tree that is just huge too close to your shop or house. It's not going to cost you anything to have Mike come out and give you an estimate. They're licensed and insured. Taking care of East Mississippi and West Alabama. Reed Tree Service. Have tree, we'll travel. Health Now is your locally owned medical equipment store. Every person's need is a little different, and they offer a little bit of everything. From hospital beds, wheelchairs, reclining back wheelchairs, breathing treatments, CPAPs and supplies. They even have walkers, bath products, and oxygen. And the great thing about Health Now is they offer same-day service. They're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and on call 24-7. Health Now Medical Equipment, where we treat our patients like family. And welcome back. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie. And Odie, I had to take off my ostrich boots so they wouldn't get muddy on Saturday. I had to dig around, Ooh. dig around in the back seat and find some tennis shoes to whoop on real quick. Well, I thought ostriches would wash off in the mud. They don't ever wash themselves. Yeah, I've ruined quite a few <laughs> pair of ostrich cowboy boots from getting in mud with. Stains don't come out. No. I've, I've learned that through the years, but. This was what was going on as we went to the Lauderdale County Agri Center as the hazardous waste day was there. Now, if you didn't drop by, it's going to be spring before they do this again, I yep. think. Yep. I, I deposited my motor oil that I've been saving up from all my oil changes <laughs> in the shop, and I took it down. A lot but, of people took... Uh, man, it was a crowd. Took pride going out there for that, so that's good. JWC was on hand pouring up those containers of oil. It was something to see. 
I tell you, they hard are work. Making uh, Lauderdale County clean and helping that. And we got a, a special little good morning to go out. Uh, Jim Leland, who was a uh, longtime manager of Pittsburgh uh, Pirates baseball team, was inducted yesterday into the uh, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. Really? And uh, he is Jim Williamson, who watches us all the time. A good guy right here. Uh, one of his best friends and his golfing buddy. Uh, and all is uh, Mr. Leland. So congratulations to uh, Jim Leland for uh, getting into the Baseball Hall of Fame. And uh, Mr. Jim Williams. And then find out that's my neighbor's brother. I was like, well, I'll be dog, Mr. Jim. So good morning, Jim, and uh, to both Jims. And I think that's a great milestone. Uh, one is. of these days we'll get Pete Rose in there. He needs to be there, y'all. He needs to be there. Somebody call somebody. Yep. Hey, Friday night as we were working on the float, we got kind of hungry, so I ran to town to get something to feed everybody working on the float. And, well, I bumped into these great folks there at the drive through window at Canes. Having a good time. They were. A big thank you to them. Very nice there. And got, I, didn't, I got the little tray. I didn't dump the drinks on the way back. You know, yeah, throughout this whole parade, I'd hear, oh, no, over here. And then I'd hear one, oh, no, over here. But what did I hear through the entire parade? Scotty Ray, Scotty Ray, Scotty Ray, Scotty Ray, Scotty Ray. These people out here love this man. Well, and I appreciate it. People, Odie, the support I've gotten since. You know, I've been doing this for 30-something years now. <laughs> yeah. Wolf, it has, uh, it has flown. In 1986, I walked in and decided this was what I wanted to do. I was told, no, that you're awful at it, and we're not going to hire you. <laughs> three, three months later, by accident, I got hired because they, they couldn't find nobody else. God, and what I mean by that is God's got plans for you. Even when people tell you no, if you've got a, a thought, an idea, don't give up. Stand your ground yeah. and do what your calling is that God gave you. Yep, keep going. Yeah, because they told me I was really bad. Well, uh, they wish they still had you. <laughs> but a big thank you to everybody that uh, supports us here at the report. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you. And Odie, we, we got to go again. Uh, 24 hours. Uh, well, no, it's been longer than that since we've seen you all last. But uh, we'll be back in 23 to bring in your Tuesday. Thank you all. A happy birthday to uh, Yvonne Scarborough. We just got that Ooh. brought in to us. So happy birthday to you. Uh, be careful throughout the day. Enjoy your day. Tomorrow will be another special day because God brought it to us. Remember, we love you. We'll see you again. And Jesus loves you too. The Scotty Ray Report is brought to you by our following partners.